Hello Android gamers, great news! Today I'm going to show you how to play Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction on your Android device multiplayer online with other people. That's right, it's now possible. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it, and we're going to do it entirely from the device without the need for a PC. So let's get started. Now I'd like to introduce you to the Exegear Windows Emulator. This is a powerful emulation tool that we're going to be using to run the games today. Now there's a lot you can actually do with this application, and there's new functionality. If you've used RPG and Strategies, this is an entirely new app. It does similar things, but it can do incredible new things. So one of the main differences is it can run a virtual desktop using Wine. And we can install games directly from this desktop, Good old games are recommended, but pretty much any game installer that is compatibility for Windows XP will work. The next major advantage of this app is the ability to connect online with the applications installed. This works for games, you can even use a web browser, and it's quite stable as you'll see with Diablo later on. You can skip to the end of the video if you want to see some gameplay. On top of all this, we can run Microsoft Office 2010 with official support. Excel and Word work perfectly. Uh, you will want a larger screen to do so. Other Windows applications do run, but you gotta remember there's a limited support for the system. Now, in case you're wondering what it can play, it plays a lot of the classic kind of games that I love, like Fallout and Diablo and that sort of stuff. It doesn't have full 3D support. Now, these officially supported games will run perfectly well on a decent device, and there's a whole bunch of unofficially supported games. Functionality is not guaranteed, uh, and it requires some modification. Now, I make instructions for these kind of things, so check back here in my thread. Look in the video's description for that. Now, here's the emulated system that we'll be using. I ran a DirectX diagnostic and here's my result. It comes up as I'm running a Pentium 3 system. Now it's emulated to my Note 4, so it comes up as four CPUs at a gigahertz. And the memory of the device, which is three gigabytes, comes up as basically 2.7. And the storage is emulated to the storage size on my device. Now this all works on the internal storage, no SD card support yet. But you can install an SD card as internal storage and it will work on that properly. I've tested that out. Now here is our video. Now that's where we're kind of limited in the video performance of our system. So we have 128 megs of video memory, but limited video support. So it's mostly 2D games that are gonna work properly, but I did get Diablo to run in 3D effects mode. So you'll see that later on in the video when I install it. Please refer back to my thread here for further instructions. Everything will be step-by-step step and all the other games will work in the same manner that I'm gonna show you in this video today. Now let's talk about installing Diablo 2. Today we'll be using the Diablo 2 Evolution mod. Now this is a free private server with a modded version of the game 1.13. There are several advantages to this, such as the loot being shown on the ground at all times. It makes it easier to play on our Android device, and you'll see what I mean when I get started. And I was able to play with multiple people at once. It was great, and it was a lot of fun. And thanks to the community Evolution team, you guys are great. This is an incredible mod, and it actually has really good support for the video hardware we're gonna be using. Now, just before I transfer over and install this, I wanna make a note about the actual game data because you may be wondering, well, what if I own the actual games? And now I own Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction, the official games, and you need an updated version and an updated key for this to actually run these versions. Now, I wasn't able to get them playing online. However, I did get the single player working properly with 1.14D, which is the latest version. And I had some issues trying to get Lord of Destruction running, so I had to modify the files. Now, I wasn't able to get into Battle.net, and I had some problems with that. I actually got my IP banned, so it kept booting me out when I did get in. Uh, just to try to log in, it kept kicking me out of the game and application. I'm not sure if this is going to work in the future or not. Uh, but be warned, if you try to mod the files, I had to add the video test stuff back in for Lord of Destruction, and I actually got my IP banned for a month. Uh, there was very little explanation other than I must have broken some rule, uh, but I guess modding the files probably isn't allowed. So be warned, if you want to use the official game data, it works for single player, but be careful with the multiplayer. Diablo 2 will run without modification, but I kept getting booted from Battle.net, so be warned. Now let's go to my Android device and show you how to install this step by step. Here we are on my Android device. Now we can start downloading the game. Click play for free or play now. Now we have a couple options for downloads. We have a direct download from Google Drive and we also have torrent downloads. The torrents were faster, but I know people aren't always comfortable with that. So let's try out the Google Drive. I think it took about nine minutes. So just click on there to get started. Downloading it through the browser. Now you may need to give permission to the browser to have access to the storage. I was using the Brave browser. 
Now we're going to download everything directly into the downloads folder. And this is where everything is going to be read for the application. So any other game EXEs or anything like that installers, put them in the downloads folder directly. Now that our download is complete, all we need to do is exit the browser and start up the Exagear Windows emulator. Here's the main desktop menu. Click on the button on the upper left hand corner. Go to install new and select Diablo 2. This is for the presets. And here we are in the downloads folder. Click on the EXE to get started. Here's the basic controls for the uh, Windows emulated environment. Click the screen to get started. Now the installer is not in English, but the game will be. So don't worry about that. Just proximo. Once the install is complete, you'll be prompted to run the video test. Do that now. What's interesting about this mod is it has proper support for a wine direct draw. So it'll be one of the options. Now you'll get an error message when it tests uh, 3DFX glide. I was able to select it, it's not recommended, but I had to select it just for the nostalgia's sake. And it did run the application, but it may have defaulted back, it's hard to say. You can test it out yourself and see what you think. Once complete, click OK. Now the game will start up immediately, but we're not quite ready to play it yet. Please bear with me just a few more steps. Hit the X in the upper right hand corner. Now we'll end up back in the desktop menu for Exagear, hit the button in the upper left corner, and now go to Manage Containers. Now every time you install a game or an application, a new container will be created. Click on the three dots and go to Properties. From the Properties menu, we can set all the defaults. When you select a game to install, it'll select this, but there isn't controls for this game specifically, so set it to Fallout, and that's the best one at this time. Uh, in the future, probably we'll get actual controls for it, but it works quite well like this. Now one more thing, go back to the menu and run the Explorer. Now this will start up our virtual desktop environment. Now every time we install a game, we want to create desktop links. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now here's our desktop, let's zoom in a bit. Now go to your C drive, Program Files, and Diablo Evolution. Once in the folder, Locate your EXE files that you're going to want to run later on. Click on the files and create link. Now this will create a link on the desktop menu so you can quickly launch all the EXEs. Now every time you install a game, it's recommended you create a link and run it from that EXE. Now that we're done that, now we're going to exit with the X in the upper right again. Now we're back in our desktop menu, you can see all the new links that we've created. Now we're going to start up the game. Now just two more steps, bear with me and we're ready to play. Now once the game launches, we want to bring up an additional menu by tapping the screen with four fingers. Here's the menu, now click full screen. Now the final step, we're going to need to start a game. Or we need to go to escape. Now we need to set the video options properly because it won't work by default. So go to the options. Go to video options. Now click on the resolution. It's going to default it and click it one more time. And there we go. 800 by 600 is what we want and we're ready to play. Now all we need to do is find people to play with online. Now I had a great time and I'll show you a little montage of some gameplay so you can see it's a legit thing. And please like the video and subscribe. I was just thrilled to find this working and had a great time with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching everybody.
this yet. Hello. Okay. 